hi welcome to spring mbc tutorial series so in this video i'm going to explain a curd operation create update delete operation with hibernate and spring okay so let's get started so this is the project that i'm using so this project i have created in my last video in this project i have configured hibernate with spring mbc okay so if you have not seen that video please go through it you can get it from my channel just click on crack java on the bottom of the video you are watching okay then you will be routed to the channel from the channel just go to the playlist then just select the spring mbc playlist so in this playlist you will find all the all of the video related to spring mbc so this is the video spring hibernate integrations that's the last video okay so to configure to create a curd operation we will have these steps so we first need to create a entity class and then we need to create a do layer for db operations then we need to create a service layer a controller and gsp files for the ui okay so let's create an entity class first so let's say for this example i'm using a user object with username and password okay so let's create a user entity class okay inside this class we need to use entity annotation first okay let's import it then we need to use table annotation so you can give the table name also a diff here so default will be the class name okay here you can give user details okay so let's create a private member as a name okay and let's create a member password and just use a column annotation for the columns let's use that with password as well okay so to store the primary key we can use a integer id okay so we need to use id annotation for that and to auto generate this id we can use generate generated value okay let's paste this okay so let's create a getter and setter as well so getter and setters select the username password okay so entity class is created so second step we need to create the do layer so let's create a new package for the do layer okay let's create a com do okay let's create an interface okay from here we can select the interface okay so let's give it as user do name so inside this interface we need to create methods like public white create user create okay and so let's create update method date delete and get okay so here we can pass a user object let's import the package and here as well let's pass the user instance okay so let's create a new package for service classes service the package is created now create a service class so let's give as name user service 
okay so here we need to use service annotation and let's imp implement the user DAO okay here let's override so override all the methods okay so let's create a session factory here we need to create a session factory object for the DB operation so session factory having it provides a session factory for all DB operations so using session factory we can get the session we can get the queries we can get the transactions okay so let's create a session factory object okay so for to create a user we can just use try and here let's create a session call to session dot okay let's change the name of session factory as session factory okay here we can get the session open session okay so let's import the package so let's use an exception catch block here so we must close the session whenever we are opening this so let's use finally block for that so here we can open we can close the session okay so here we can save the object Let's implement the update method. So we just we can copy paste this. Okay, here we need to use a query. So we can use a HQL to for update operation. Okay, so let's make it null. Okay, here we can let's say we have a string hql okay so using session we can get a query object so, so we need to use session dot create query so here we can pass hql okay now Let's modify the hql equal to here we can pass the update statement so we have a user we need to give the user update user set so let's change the password so we have a password equal to here we can pass the password and name let's say this is name okay so on the basis of id we can modify the values okay so here we need to set the value so let's set the name first okay so we can set user dot get name And here let's pass the password okay let's change this user dot get password okay and we need to set the ID as well set integer okay so here we need to pass the ID okay so let's pass some constant values let's say we are going to modify first id that we are inserting okay so and finally we are closing the session so here we need to use we dot execute update to perform the update okay so now let's create a delete so same way we can create the delete operation okay here we 
let's modify the query here should be delete from user where id is this we just need to pass the id okay let's pass the id as one okay and in the get we need to get the users so let's copy this statements so we don't need hql here say session dot create query so here we can just pass from from user and they should return a list okay this is a create query okay and let's return the list from here this is this should be list and should return list of user let's type cast this okay let's type cast this Okay, we need to change the interface as well. This should give us list of users. Okay. So from here we can return null. The service class is now ready. Now we can create a controller. Okay, let's create a user controller. Okay, it should be user controller. Okay, here we need to use controller annotation to make it controller okay so we can add some request mapping for create update delete operations okay let's do that so we need to add both post and get mapping so let's add the get mapping first suppose we have a gray create call should be create okay here let's return a jsv file as create okay in the model we need to pass the model attribute so for that we need to use add attri attribute function here let's keep the name and here let's pass new user so the model attribute i already had a video where i have explained about the model attribute so you can check that video also i will provide the link for that video in the, into the description of this video so using model attribute we can directly map this object to the form html form okay let's create all curd operations so let's make it update delete should be show or get let's say this is a get okay so this is delete and this should be update okay so these all are get mapping these are just used for to just load the JSV page so let's create the post mapping okay so should be post okay let's say this is create user okay here in the create user we will get the model attribute from form so let's use model attribute annotation for that okay here let's use the user object and we don't need to return this we don't need to add the model attribute here so here we here let's inject the service class user service
okay let's auto wire this so here we need to auto wire this okay let's import the package user service so in the create user we can create call the function create response the user here same way we let's create all four code operations so let's say this is update update user here we are passing let's make this update okay so let's change this to delete delete user okay let's change this to create okay there is an error okay so we have a duplicate method so this should be get user and this should be delete this is not required okay here can use we can call delete function and this here we can call get function okay so we have a create delete get I think we are missing update so we need to add the update as well update so this should be update user okay let's call the update function here and yeah so this also we need to change this should be update this should be delete and this should be get okay so now we need to create the JSP pages okay let's do that let's create JSP page as let's first create create.jsp file okay so I already have HTML content so let's copy this so we just need a form with username and password okay so I'm using form tag leave of Spring MBC. Okay, so here I'm using path. Okay, this should be same as the variable name that we are giving into the into the entity class. So this should be name. Okay, so password is fine. Okay, this should be name. Okay, so this is a create operation. Let's change the form as well. okay so now let's create update.jsp okay should be update and now let's create delete.jsp and we have a get.jsp as well so let's check this again so here action should be create and model attribute should be user and in delete also it should be user and this should be delete okay so let's check the get mapping so this should be get and this should be user and in update also this should be update and this is user okay so we are done with all the configurations so let's check so we have created the entity class we have created the do we have created the service we have created the controller and the JSP page so now we can run this project let's run this on server okay right click run as run on server click finish so one last configuration thing we need to do that is still pen, that is pending so in in hibernate configuration file here we need to 
at the entity that we have created so we have created a user entity so let's add this so whatever entities that we are creating we need to register all these entity into the session factory okay let's run this again okay, the server is starting okay the application is started so let's hit the create endpoint to create the user okay so let's give some username password let's say abc abc123 okay i think we need to modify the jsp page okay so let's go to the k.jsp file okay this should be submit okay so let's call this again so now let's add abc abc123 click on create so as you see it has created a user detail table into database and it has added a entry into the user table so let's change the database so if you see the database that we are using is test so let's change this to test okay so let's check select star from user details yes so we have an entry so let's check the update okay so let's change the password user john to abc and password also abc123 okay let's click on this looks like it is there is something wrong so it is inserting the value for update call because here we need to call update okay so it should be update here should be delete and it, here it should be get okay so let's test the update again so it should be let's change it to abc123 password123 okay let's create on this so there is a problem with this statement so here we need to use comma okay so we have modified the query now we can test this again so let's test the create first okay let's create a user as abc password one two three okay so it has inserted the value into db let's check this out select star from user details so we have one entry so now we can test the update okay let's change this to xyz and let's change password to password123 okay so it has updated the value so as you see it has fired a curl into database so if we select check the values now so both username and password is modified so if let's test the delete now delete okay let's give any value to here yeah so it has deleted the first record yep so it is working so in the delete we have we are deleting the first entry okay so the current operations are working fine create update deletes so that's all for this video in my next video i will discuss other spring uh, mbc concept see you in next video bye bye